shine on us. Phillips Craig and Dean, obviously, you know, famous for that back in the yeah. day. You, you and your wife wrote it, and your voice is finally on it on a recording. So talk about why now, now why we get to hear you sing it. Yeah. Well, when we were picking songs, I did eight shows with Phillips Craig and Dean, which I'd never done that before, which I thought, is that really going to work? These guys are awesome. It's the greatest guys in the world. When we were talking about the set, I said to those guys, going, man, I'd really love if you guys would do Shine On Us. And so we did it all together that night. It was incredible. It was just incredible. So Jim Danica and I keep on playing again going, dude, why are you not, why is that song not on, not on the hymns record? He said, you should cut that song. And so I said, you know what? You're right, I should cut it. And so we did. Oh, it's a great, that's a really great moment. If you ever had to, using today's technology, uh, redo one of your records from the past, which one would you do? If you, if you ever could I'd, take another shot? I'd probably redo the big picture. Yeah. I feel like it's just lacking a lot of bottom end. And we were, back then, you know, we just, I mean, that was such a huge departure for me. And I feel like it was sort of groundbreaking on a lot of levels because you know, I just went for it, you know. and. But we programmed a lot of stuff, and so there's not really any bass. So if you listen to the records, you just don't even bottom in. Yeah. So if I did it, I would just literally just throw it all down and leave it all on the stage, and, just, and really fill it in. And and that would be an exciting, be exciting to go back and redo Wire for Sound, and, yes. Yes. and Law Move, that one, yes. and Rocket Town. That goes. That would be fun. Don't don't tempt me. I'm, I have to go back and do that. Yeah. Glad you asked the question. <laughs> to find out.